Uh, Rob, really competitive game here at the brewery field tonight. What was it like to play in that one? Um, like a normal Tuesday night at the brewery field, it was uh, it was unbelievable. To be fair, I thought I thought we dominated the majority of the game. I think it was 15 minutes spell in the second half when we the start of the second half, where we kind of dropped back and let them kind of have the ball a little bit uh, too much, and that's when they scored. But then we got straight back onto it, um, pressing. Obviously, that's what the gaffer wants. Um, I think we've got the GPS on now, so I think the lads are uh, grafting and doing, doing a little bit no more yards. Place. There's no hiding place because it gets put in the group uh, a couple of days later and you don't want to be bottom, I don't think. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's all right for me because that's my game. So <laughs> I've done it for 10 years and I run around. But uh, as I say, it was, a, it was a determined... Everyone was wanting to run a little bit more um, in, a, in a normal night, Tuesday night at the brewery field. How deep did you have to dig as a team to, to come back from the setback? Because having been in top on top in the game, to then fall behind must be a bit of a kick in the in the in the guts. Yeah, I think we the first half. I thought we were unbelievable down the hill. Um, we had we had quite a few chances. Um, just like little pullbacks or the final ball wasn't there. Um, we were breaking well. Everything everything like that. It was just that last little bit just wasn't clicking. Um, and obviously when they scored, it was kind of a bit of a kick in the teeth. Like here we go again, but. The lad, the, the good dressing room. Do you know what I mean? And the lads don't want to stick together. We we are sticking together, and we'll, and we'll get through this. Um, so we've got to we've got to keep going. And you can see the react by the reaction. I think straight from the kick off, we give it back to Monty, and we just pumped it, and we went we went, we went again. I think it's because the side's so used to seeing Glenn Taylor up there, but we when he's not there, we have to I guess work out new ways to put the ball in the net. Do we? Yeah, do you know what is it? Strange for me though because I'm I'm there. Uh, I haven't played. James is not playing. Spot is not playing. And Taylor's not playing. I think it's the first time. <laughs> yeah on Saturday in about eight years that I haven't played with him. So it's strange for me looking around and obviously uh, the gaffer gives the armband. So I'm trying to just lead a little bit from the, from the front. But, and obviously Tails is normally a uh, skipper as well. So, But it is strange when he, when he's not there. But you know what it is, Will, Will's, he's not getting the goals he was at the start of the season, but he just, he just it just needs a click, I think, again for him. Um, and obviously Manny came on as well. I thought he'd done really well as a, as a long, young lad. Um, so I think they just need goals for confidence. That's what strikers need. Um, you probably see Tails done, done in the past. He's probably not played as well, but he might have nicked a goal and then his confidence gets builds up and he and he starts getting more and more goals. And that's just what needs to happen with Will and Manny. It'll, and it'll, uh, it'll hopefully click. Talk us through your goal tonight because it was a really swift, well, well taken counter attack, wasn't it? Yeah, you know what it is, it hit my heel. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I nearly Don't missed admit it. That. So I nearly, I nearly missed it on the line, I think. I think I, was, I think I was too tired off running up the pitch, but uh, no, that, that's what we that's what we're all about. But we were counter attack football and I think it was their corner, I think, or might be free kick. Um and then we, we just broke I think Corey picked it up and then it might be Sam that crossed it in for me. Um and luckily it went through the defender's leg and crossed to me. Um that's what we're all about. Do you know what I mean? Like high pressure, big like tempo and, and counter attack football, and luckily it, it came to us in a, in a score. And, and you probably say by my celebration, it was a bit. Of, it all came out. A bit of emotion came out was over the past few weeks. It's been it's been tough because you know as I love the club and all that. So and when we're losing, it, it hurts me as well. But uh, we we'll draw and then hopefully we can we can pick up now um, on Saturday. Yeah, I was going to say it's psychologically just to end that run of defeats was was really important, I guess. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been really tough. Obviously, change of manager again. Um, it's been it's been really tough for all of us because I don't think we were playing bad. Um, we were still grafting and we were still working as a team. But at Chorley we were one 0 down and got called off when we were on top and you could see us probably scoring and like little things like that and we just haven't took our chances and then. I think maybe in Chorley at home when we about three or four chances and Taylor missed a penalty, I think. It's just like little things like that where we could have picked up points here and there. But we've just got to try and keep on going, keep our heads and, uh, as I say, stick together. You mentioned about the captain's armband, how you're enjoying that responsibility. You're a bit calmer on the pitch with, the, with that armband on. Yeah, so I've got, I've got to try and be calm. Um, <laughs> that's what the gaffer said. He said it's a smiley face, the captain's armband. But do you know what it is? When, it, when it's on, I, I can't kind of lose my head as, as much as I normally do. So I'm trying to, trying to be a bit more positive. Um, it's not... It, it's demanding, do you know what I mean? I'm not I'm not being negative in, in, in any way when I haven't got the armband on. I just want more and more, do you know what I mean? That's that's how I've always been over the last eight years. But I think with the armband, people are looking at you a bit more for a bit of leadership. Um, and to be fair, I'm loving it and it's, and it's calming me down, but I'm, I'm trying to lead from the front as well.